This one is called Infinite 100%. I think he's going down this episode because it, if you notice, it always seems like the 13th episode in a season is always pretty darn hype. So I think this will be the target here. Oh, we're backing up. He got you. He took the drug. How are you supposed to beat a guy like that? He can sap your energy without even touching you. It hurts so much to see Mirio in the opening now. Oh, it's because she's far away. She can fly, that's pretty cool. Oh no, that's not Deku. I'm glad, because I thought we weren't going to get... Uh, Anything from Nejire, and I like her a lot. I like her design, I like her personality. Whoops. And the League of- Oh! Go Beyond Plus Ultra? I prefer Go Confusion Plus Chaos. Clothe yourself before you give this old man a heart attack. Compress. He's getting him out of there. Duplicate of me so I could extract- Finish the job? You're just a copy, you'll be fine. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. So Goodbye, Compress Copy. It's gonna be hard. I don't know if this compress copy is gonna make it too long. Don't be predictable, Midoriya. Oh. Whoa. What does her power do? Well, okay, hold up here. First off, her quirk can make people disappear. That's crazy. Second, if usually we are looking at quirks as an inheritance standpoint, and you see stuff like that with like Todoroki and his family, the hot and cold, like his father was trying to get the powers to combine, basically. Um... We would also see the same with Bakugo, because we know his mom, um, somebody in his family has explosions, but they're acting like getting a power that's not related to your parents' power is weird, but like, wasn't it just a few generations ago that quirks appeared randomly in the first place? So like, are, are most of the quirks out there related to the people who got that first generation of quirks? And, like, new quirks are still sort of rare. This is information that I'd like to know about the world. Like, how how rare actually is it for someone to be born with an, an actually new quirk that no one else has ever had? You're good at that kind of stuff. Similar to my quirk. The boss told him to do this? Say that. It's like elimination. To rewind. What? She rewinded her own father into unexistence. Like she went, she did it too far. Oh my goodness. But that means we can fix Mirio, right? Mirio can be back? How did she, how did they do that to eliminate Quirks then? Like he combined her power somehow in order to rewind it to before their quirk activated, maybe? Because kids don't have quirks right away, or they usually don't. They they kind of start being able to use them at, like, four or five. We can have Mirio back. Maybe we can have Night-Eye back, too? I have to trust him. Oh. This music is... Really good. This time, she needed me. Man, slip away. that event in the alley affected him so much more than I thought it did at the time. But that won't happen. Oh. You. I won't let you go. This really slow version of you say run 
is really, really good. He's gonna fight wild. He's got air. What? He's not there. Wait. He switched back to normal. He's not his monstrous form anymore. What just happened? I never told her wow. What power is, much less how to use it. Here. His power is so overpowered like he just straight up was like oh my arms hurt boom brand new arm Long to me. she figured out how to use her power by her own control all those all those years he was experimenting on her Ooh, ah uh? he's power still active what Yeah, the life force draining power. Chisaki's so got it now too. Have to do something and help him. Let's go, Uraraka. The the There's no future except the one Even you create. These kids. They're so good. She's rewinding him as he damages himself. She knows how to use her power. He's got to be lying somehow, or he he doesn't know how much she knows, maybe? This form is like a Final Fantasy boss. Regular person inside a giant monstrosity. What? Oh. He's straight up going Super Saiyan here. So the species to a time before quirks ever existed. Wow. represents for humanity. No, he's too quick now. So Midoriya has to go on the offensive, basically, to stop himself from being rewound too far. What's Compress doing? Well. Go on, uh, yeah. I mean, he's he's dead. The, he is spiked all the way through his abdomen. Hmm. Does this mean... Okay. So now here's the deal. Because Deku is able to use 100% right now for this battle while she's with him, does that mean it's going to increase his progress? Because I've been saying he has a long way to go to replace All Might, right? But if this fight allows him to fight at 100% and basically push his body and his quirk farther than he would normally be able to under normal circumstances... Can't he make both himself and All for One stronger, like, in a much shorter time frame? I, I think this will be a nice little power boost later for Midoriya. Because we know he's going to survive this fight. So Chrono's been his right hand for quite a long time. So he considered it, at first, a business dealing just to get the Hasaikai back on type top but now that the old man is out of the picture he's changed his mind he just wants to eliminate quirks that the the idea of making an antidote is f far from his mind now Place here. Oof. he put him in that coma you don't... I owe you everything. he put him together wrong you strong, but those... Pops. hmm so he didn't even want to kill him. He just wanted to take him out of the picture to show him what he could do. Ah, oh, the the glowing from his eye. It's awesome. Wow, that's so messed up. What? This is like One Punch style. Like, what is even happening right now? Oh. <laughs> what? Chisugi doesn't even know what happened. Oh my goodness. Look at Midoriya.
What? No. Midoriya lost his life. But you didn't expect Midoriya to be able to be at 100%. So clearly. Look. Look at him. She's he's, done? He's can be changed. That means All Might might not die either. Is that the end of the episode? Wait, what? What were those shots at the end? Stand by. There was like a frame of Midoriya, and now we have... That's Night Eye. Hmm. Wow. Okay, so... There's a lot of stuff to go over from this episode. Actually, it's raised a lot more questions than it answered for me. So, first off, if Aerie actually does know how to activate her power, but not turn it off... How's Midoriya going to get out of this? Because right now she's rewinding him constantly. And he's only basically staying in existence because he's continually using one for all at full power and breaking his body. But eventually, let's say he does it. They just get stuck like this and he has to just keep breaking himself. Eventually, won't his body and the power become better, like good enough that it doesn't break him and then he gets rewound? I don't know. So there's one thing. How are we going to get out of this? The second is, does this mean Aerie can rewind and basically fix Mirio? Because I really don't want Mirio's power to be gone for forever. And I thought that she may be a possibility to get it back for him, but not like this. Like, I thought that her ability acted on quirks in some way, but it actually has nothing to do with quirks. It's a simple side effect that... Um, you know, uh, overhaul has teased out of the main effect. So that's another thing. Night Eye, I think it's because we have a possibility here for Night Eye to live as well. And when I first saw him get skewered, I was like, there's no way Night Eye lives through this. I thought he was going to be our first major profile death. And who knows, he might still be because we've seen Aerie do doesn't really control her power or can't really control her power. So, I don't know. There's uh, there's just a lot going on here. And I'd like to know what was the key factor in changing the future that Night Eye saw. Was it the fact that All for One isn't really, um, what you would say, predictable in that way? Or is it because Ares' power is the unpredictable one? I don't know. But this was a good episode. Um, I was kind of hoping for a little bit just a little bit more out of Midoriya. It was cool. Don't get me wrong. But like it wasn't the same kind of moment as like his fight against uh, Bakugo at the end of last season. Or his fight against um, Muscular during the training arc. Like he he has had some really good moments in this arc. But that wasn't reaching the heights that I thought this episode would reach at the beginning. Like I was very keyed up. Which is probably my fault. But there we go. Now we wait for next week again.